So I wanted to um, provide you guys a little bit more information about the cell theory. We, I know we've talked about the cell theory a couple times in class. We watched a, a TED Ed video in class. There's a podcast on the cell theory. Um, but there's an, I, I wanted to point out there actually is some extra information about the cell theory um, and that you are responsible for this. So I'm, I'm just making this extra video. It should be quick. It's the cell theory and it's the extended notes. Um, so it goes into a little bit more detail about it. So let's just maybe perhaps we should review the the older cell theory or the traditional cell theory. Um, and the first one is that all living things are made oops of at least one cell. Remember that um, what I'm talking about here is at least it's a unicellular cell. Sometimes organisms are multicellular. Um, but um, just to review back to some stuff earlier in the year, that our unicellular kingdoms are the archaea and the eubacteria. Those are all definitely unicellular. Some of our protists are unicellular, which are in the eukaryotic domain. Um, and some of our yeast, I mean, sorry, excuse me, not yeast, the yeast is an example. Some of our fungi are unicellular, for example, yeast. But we also have some multicellular fungi um, like mushrooms. Um, so um, I, all I'm just, I'm trying to refer back to unicellular and multicellular and get you to make a connection to another unit. Um, but that's the first thing that you need to know. Sometimes it's written as all things are made out of cells, um, but we should qualify that some things are made out of a unis or unicellular. The second is that the cell is the basic unit of uh, life. So we consider cells to be alive, but anything that's on that scale smaller than a cell would not be considered to be alive. For example, um, macromolecules, molecules, atoms, those are not alive. Um, they, are, they are things that matter, but um, those don't happen to be alive. It's just when they come together in a certain way to make what we call a cell, um, then we consider it to be alive if the cell is functioning. And three, that all cells come from other cells. Now, of course, that rise, raises another question of where did the first one come from? Um, but we'll talk more about that when we get to biochemistry. So we'll leave that alone for now, but that's a good question. And I'm going to put a star here. Um, and I'd, I would maybe add that. So where did the first cell come from? All right, great question. And we'll answer that. Um, we'll come up with our, with science, we'll talk about science's ideas on that. All right, so there is um, another idea called the modern cell theory. And you guys get to learn this. Most kids in schools just learn this, which is uh, older and it's out of date. But the modern cell theory is all of these. So it's one, two, and three plus... Uh, the stuff that we're about to write over here. So we're going to add a couple other things. So the first, uh, I'll go ahead and label it as four, because um, the modern cell theory has these three. So the fourth one is that um, all cells use energy. And so um, think back to um, what you know now about photosynthesis and cellular respiration. Um, and to foreshadow ahead um, into a future unit, we're going to talk a little bit more about some biochemistry. And that biochemistry is another example, and we'll talk more about energy there. The fifth is that um, they have genetic material. In the form of DNA that um, is shared with other cells through cell division. And lastly, um, that within a species,
all cells are similar in composition. That means that your cells and my cells, we're in the same species, um, are chemically very similar. Um, and so, but they would be a little different than uh, when we compared ourselves to plants or other kinds of animals. Um, and it's just, it's saying that. But remember, if we go back to the differentiation video or the podcast, um, you should know that not all of your cells look alike, like your eye cells and your heart cells, but um, we have a lot more common in our cells than um, you and I um, have a lot more in our, common in our cells than either one of us do to some other organism from another species. Okay? And so that's the, that's the update to the modern cell theory. Make sure you learn this and you memorize it, okay?